All right, guys, so you can know we got the uh, water well. We can't get our pump until we build the pump house. So let's get on it. I think we came up with something cool. It's supposed to be a five by five slab. We're gonna try to make sure uh, 66 inches, 66 roughly. So it's over five foot. And then they said we gotta go at least six feet tall if we want to add filtration door has to be on this side the way they set it up they wanted us to do the door this way because our electric's running out i think we have an idea we just cut and then they want it to be at least six foot high so in the front we're going to go a little bit higher but six foot's about right there and then back here and then as you guys saw in the thumbnail it's gonna have a little bit of a slant roof so we're gonna go ahead and just make it squared everything the same height and then we'll add to the front and then build our roof so we need six foot minus three inches. build another one. Same thing. So now we need 66 minus, minus six. Alright guys, so we were trying to do it with as much lumber as we have. We have a lot of leftover stuff from the barn, and this is leftover, so we need 2 by 4 so we're going to go ahead and rip it. You guys saw all I did was put a 2 by 4 right here, so it's going to be the exact same width, and then we'll run them through and cut them down to size. We're just going to make our own 2 by 4s <laughs> So we got it built, it's six foot tall. What we're gonna do is we're gonna build the heavy duty roof. We're gonna go ahead and build the frame, stick it on there, and then we'll slant it up how we want it. We're gonna build it out of treated two by sixes. It's gonna be overkill for this little thing, 
But oh well, that's what we got. We're trying to get a pitch so what we're gonna do is this back two by six we don't need two by six it's overkill so we're gonna come in and notch out where this two by four is you guys will see her here in a minute uh, we'll notch it out we'll stick it in the back of the uh, roof will come down the front will go up and uh, that'll be the easiest way for us to do this and it lowers the roof rather than trying to raise the roof in the front it just helps out been raining off and on hopefully it'll go away and the sun will come out but for now let's anchor this sucker in So we're going to go ahead and get these fence planks and we're going to put them smooth side out. 
Got my block of wood, I'm gonna put it right here. That way it'll be the same all the way around. And then go ahead and get your next board. And then just uh, rinse and repeat.
time to stain it. We're gonna use a golden oak color to see what it looks like on the cedar, and then we'll do the deck. But first, let's do this one. we finished so this looks like the thumb now don't it uh, I know some people throughout the process probably thinking what in the world why y'all doing it like this why are you doing it this way uh, I think it came out great yeah the only thing we would change is the stain color we feel like we got gypped but it's our fault yeah it says uh, golden oak yes it's like the lightest stain ever that but looks it came out a little darker than we expected yeah. this is the red uh, western cedar we wanted more of the natural color and I thought the stain would be a little more transparent a lot more brown to it but yeah. to me this looks great the yeah. door and everything came out great it opens fine it's a very tight fit uh, we have the wood pile on the back that's awesome it holds our firewood and tools yeah we do know people are gonna say but there's gonna be bugs bugs are gonna be coming to the uh, wood we use cedar. The cedar is supposed to be a bug repellent, so maybe it'll it'll counter counterbalance each other. Maybe I don't know. But to us, this is for a water well in there. Mm -hmm. We could always take that off, and it'll probably end up truly being a place for the dogs to lay down. Yeah. Let's be real. You already saw that in the video. So this back roof, we didn't put trim here. You're like, hey, why aren't we doing trim? Why? Uh, rain catchment. Even though this is a well house. We still want water to be caught here. Every structure we can have water because we never know if power's gonna go out or anything. Mm -hmm. Plus, free water. Yeah, gotta be prepared. I know this it's a small roof. It'll catch. It'll catch. It'll catch, and we're just gonna have a small little thing here. So we're gonna end up putting a little gutter system on there. And then we got a couple more decorations we gotta put on there. Yeah. But we got it done. The thumbnail you saw, maybe a little more landscape going on. That's coming up. Yeah. Kit didn't have enough time. That's to come. And we got to uh, run our water lines and everything. You don't want to do landscape and then dig the ground. Yeah. But hopefully, you guys liked that video. Uh, if you did, we are daily vlogging now. I don't know for how long. We're just doing this to uh, keep up with ourselves, push ourselves. And we are going live tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, then Thursday and Friday, we got some special videos for you guys. We've been yeah. knocking out projects. We can't show you that way, yeah. but for now, we'll be going live tomorrow. There's a surprise on the Thursday video. They don't even know. We haven't even hinted at it. Do I know? What happened yep. today? No, like what we're, we're building. Oh, yeah, there's a big surprise. <laughs> uh, so, guys, we'll check you out on the next one. Hopefully you like it. We're pumped because now we can actually get our yeah. pump. So, Technically, let's... we have the pump. We just need, we need the pressure tank. Yeah we're gonna hit and record and then we're gonna text them we're that's done so we can get that rolling and then we'll have real running water <laughs> <laughs>